Star Wars Hunters just dropped a gameplay trailer. This is a free-to-play game for uh, Switch and mobile. It's an arena-style shooter, and it like it looks fun. It looks goofy, and it doesn't look all that serious, which I do like from time to time. Uh, like when I was younger, I really loved playing Star Wars Super Bombard Racing, which was goofy as can be, but like also so much fun. Uh, the gameplay for this game really looks fun. Um, I will definitely try it out on Switch because I really don't like playing these games on uh, mobile. I just like I play a bit of Pokemon Unite, which is also a free to play game. It's also on Switch and it's also on mobile, but I just like <sighs> it plays really well on mobile, but I just don't like it like touch screen everything. I'd rather have a controller or maybe keyboard mouse, but um, yeah, I will definitely give this a go on 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 the Switch and uh yeah like i don't think it will happen but i i do hope and probably will not though but i do hope they will release it at least on like xbox and playstation if it runs long, runs well enough but um i don't know why they're not doing that so yeah um the characters though they look really fun like you have a droid program to be a jedi named uh j3di jedi <laughs> um you have a slingshot which is like a combo for uh like a droidica and an Agnod. you got utuni i think uh like a pair of jawa brothers uh who are standing on each other's shoulders and like a, a couple of more characters which look pretty fun but these were like three that i think were the most fun to uh to like see stuff of in the in the gameplay trailer um also like seeing ranged combat um and close quarter combat looks really fun and a bunch of the abilities you get to see in the video which is pretty cool like um uh, let's just call him jedi <laughs> uh using some sort of rope dart to peel to uh to peel goddamn to pull enemies towards him utani having uh like a big laser where he sits in with his with his jawa brother or like the two of them um and like it fires a real powerful laser at the enemies um uh, zayna if i'm pronouncing it correctly uh placing down a flag which seems to like give above or like uh, in an area for health or like just heal the enemies and heals herself um looks like a pretty fun pretty fun mechanic and um like much more stuff from other characters as well which looks pretty good I also like I think I counted around three or four maps but I'm not too sure about this because we get like uh, multiple shots of the same map but with what it seems like to have two game modes um, one seems like a normal team that match uh, small type uh, 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 map just shoot each other simple team that match and the other one looks more like an escort mission uh in like the same style maps but bigger because it's like once from from one point to the other you have to escort like i think um was it uh uh who at at head or something i don't know i'm just like I, i'm not having the video in front of me right now i'm so stupid by not doing that but yeah <laughs> i do wonder if it is actually game modes or it will just happen in like one match at all so you go from like a smaller part until there's like a some sort of point that you complete it and then you go into like an escort mission and that's how you complete the game i don't know i i do i would like a couple of game modes though i think if they just split it up in game modes you have more choice more um ways to play the game and just to get more fun out of it that's that's what i hope they will do with it um so yeah I, I like i do think from what i've seen right now it's a fun game to just like play in between uh like if you have nothing to do just like pick up the switch maybe even a mobile and just play like a couple of matches just have a little bit of fun and just go back about your business or uh go back to other games i don't know um i do think that they will probably add more characters over some time and maybe even a, like maybe even a couple of more maps but if there are game modes i'm not sure if they will add more that's just like it's a free-to-play game and 
yeah just I, if there are game modes i think these two are gonna be pretty well though i gotta be honest and when seeing the gameplay trailer it looked more fun um than what i expected when they originally announced the game um which for me is good and makes me want to try it and um, if it's fun enough i'll just keep it on my switch if it's not that big of a game and i'll probably just randomly play a couple of games as i do with pokemon unite right now which is also like a really fun game for in between like some downtime and stuff like that um and also it just doesn't like it it's it looks like a goofy game which i mean in a positive way it doesn't seem like it's rooted in lore um and it doesn't try to be like a serious game in that regard and um I, like i'm also not expecting that from this game if i want that i'll just wait for jedi fallen order 2 or um the, the ubisoft star wars game or the, the quantic dream game they're working on right now so um i think like this game could be a really fun game to play star wars hunters it's set to release on um not a specific date they just i think it's on the website it says like release in 2022 probably early 2022 when they're showing gameplay right now um and yeah like what do you think about the game are you gonna try it leave it in the comment section down below <laughs> thanks for watching and see you on the next video have a good one Bye bye